I love you, a bushel and a peck and a hug around your neck. Woo! All right, welcome to Cat's Prayer Corner podcast. I have uh, been enjoying summer. It's been awesome. I substitute teach during the year, and so we have done a little vacationing, and I'm spending a lot of time with the Lord and praying and spending time with my kids, and it's been fulfilling for sure uh so i haven't been on but i am here today and i miss you guys and during my time away i have decided to move the podcast in a direction of um interviews from women and their god stories their uh triumphant in the Holy Spirit moments in their lives. And I know so many women, you know, I work with women doing my Reiki hands-on um, therapy as well as doing the reflexology and health coaching. And, you know, I nanny and I substitute teach. So I am always working and talking to women and I am a woman huh man and it's not easy right I mean it isn't <sighs> there's a lot of pressure and a lot of stress and just a lot it's a lot and it's hard for men too I'm not trying to undervalue them but just girl to girl man <sighs> I feel you I feel you out there I mean, I personally battle a little depression. Um, if you have heard my uh, stories in the past, I come from, um, you know, abuse, physical and emotional abuse in my teenage years that uh, <clears throat> has lingered throughout my whole adult life. And, um, you know, I am a widower as well. And I have suffered from addiction I have suffered from alcoholism I'm coming up on my fourth year of no booze and I am so much better for it um, you know I have been raped I have been uh, you know I've, I've been through it I've been through it and hence the addiction right so but also God God, it's quite the redemption story. And when I work with these women in different capacities of my different areas of life coaching, um, you know, I hear all your stories and I help you move these stories out of you and I pray with you and I love you and I care for you and I want all of us to be better. And I know we can. I know... God is the answer. It seems so uh, intangible, but really my, my hope and my prayer and encouragement here in this space is that we have a, you know, a safe place to be free to talk about our pain and talk about our trauma and share it and inspire others and make other women feel not alone. Um, I think that feeling alone is one of the hardest things we have to go through as humans because we are meant to really not be alone. Um, I think COVID really jacked us up. I think that having to be forced to be alone for people who are not ready to be alone really caused some addiction problems um you know so I work with some of these women here and uh you know if you're brave enough to get on camera and speak your truth and tell your story and come on the show and pray with me and uh help other women not feel alone I urge you to message me. I urge you to, um, 
you know, my my phone number is 562-313-3315. Give me a text. I don't really like phone calls. If I text you and you call me, I'm like, come on, it could have been a text. <laughs> I'm an 80 baby, but I'm... I like that texting stuff. So, plus, I do not answer if I do not know your, um, if I don't have your name programmed. I'm like, well, you're probably trying to sell me something, so I'm not going to answer. So, anyway, long story longer, just text me and uh, we can set up some, you know, whatever you're looking for in life coaching. So, I've got a lot of different uh, hats that I wear and I'm here to serve you and I can work with your budget. Um, But also just if you come and you're on my show and you give and you are brave, I will um, give you whichever service, whatever hat uh, under the life coaching umbrella. Okay, so I'm offering that to you. That would be a a Reiki session um, or a reflexology session or a health coaching session. Um, we can work out some small health coaching uh, plan together. Um, so also I do baptisms and it is summer. And if it is on your heart, girl, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, if that is on your heart and you want to feel good and feel close to the Holy Spirit and feel peace in your life baptism is amazing and I am an ordained minister and I am happy to provide that service for free happy to help you find that space we can use your pool we can use your bathtub does not need to be in a church So just throwing all those things out there, but also really asking you, you know, reach out to me. Is this calling you? Do you have a story? First thought, best thought, whoa. Maybe it's a little scary to be on camera. I get that, you know, but it's also, it can be a little exhilarating and it can make mountains move because we all have different stories. So my stories may not relate to other women that may hear this so I feel like we need all the stories all the fears and then all the um, goodness of God in your life over these things helping to encourage all our ladies (sighs) so with that being said I'm going to pull a little prayer card here I like to pass out scripture cards when I go out and about I'm that lady who gives like the Chick-fil-A lady a scripture card or an angel card and makes her cry in the middle of her shift. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> um, and you can get scripture cards super easy on like um, on the internet. You can just look up scripture cards. You could probably even make them if you wanted to spend time doing that. Um, but ink is so expensive. Anyway, if you're still with me, um, let's pray real fast and then I'll pick a scripture card here. Mm, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your Holy Spirit and your tangible peace that we can feel when we accept you and ask you for this peace. I ask that anyone who is listening, that they ask for your peace within their heart and feel you and align their heart with you align with with the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit I ask that you move out the to-do lists for a minute and the stress and the worry that is on their heart right now and that energetically you are able to pour into their heart right now through long beautiful breath here breathing in hold it letting the 
breath fill you and releasing out your skin the joy and the peace and the goodness of the Holy Spirit God does not need speeches simple prayers of Lord send your spirit down and let me feel your goodness and your peace with real intention to feel it. That's when God becomes tangible. If you really want to feel him, really feel God, we got to look at who we really are inside, who the stories that have made us who we are make the decisions, create the decisions we make um, now in our day-to-day -day lives, right? And so to be happy, we gotta kind of shift those stories out to the Holy Spirit, let him take it, and then let him do work in us. And sometimes the work is not easy, it sucks. And we have to like wait forever, right? I feel like I've been, standing at the hall at the door knocking for five years you know but you know god's timing is not our timing you know and i say you know because you do know we do know that god's timing is perfect and when he does show up you're like oh yep if it had happened earlier this and this and this would have happened it shouldn't it wouldn't have worked out i wouldn't have met not wouldn't have met that person or this person I, mean, I can't even tell you how many times i've gone down that rabbit hole you know so i just love it so very much and so i ask um i'm gonna pull this prayer card now lord i ask that you give us a beautiful message today as we end this podcast i also ask that you are with the women on their hearts if they want to start sharing their stories and they are personal and beautiful and involve you Lord I ask that you give them strength and courage to show up for themselves and for others who really need to hear that they're not alone in their stories hallelujah Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Psalm 18, 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. All right, well, that is, that's, I feel like he's telling me to let's put our armor of God on before we say goodbye. Hoping to actually do this in every podcast and that reminded me to do that. So thank you. Whoosh. High five. Take a nice, long, deep breath in through our nose. And hold. And release. Asking our firm foundation of our roots of our feet bring your awareness to your feet standing on your firm foundation which is God he is our firm foundation moving up into the belt of truth wrap that around you moving further up to your breastplate of righteousness and your helmet of salvation covering your ears and your eyes so that it cannot be distracted by the enemy here and that you are protected by the Holy Spirit and angels around your thoughts, dreams, visions. Asking the Holy Spirit to come across your tongue as the sword of the Spirit, the weapon in the armor of God scripture and finally i ask that the shield of faith is wrapped all around you like a big bubble protecting you from the flaming arrows of the enemy 
And I ask this in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh. All right. Well, if you are interested, I am. I have about four um, interviews lined up, but I need more, and I can do a Zoom interview with you. That's fine too. So if you're in California. Uh, I know I have some people there that I love very much. So if you want to do this, we can zoom it out. All right, you guys. Be good. And message me. Text me. (laughs) 